everyone, welcome back to Now and Us. This is my middle finger, lucky you. And today I'm going to show you on my middle finger 11 important parts of nail anatomy that you're going to need to know working as a nail technician. Let's jump straight in with number one. The natural nail free edge. This is the whitish looking area at the front of your nail that extends beyond the flesh of the nail bed. It's not attached to any skin and this is the part that we may trim, cut, file and shape during a nail service. Number two, the hypernicheum. This is the thickened area of skin between the nail bed and the free edge. It creates a seal that protects anything from getting under the nail plate. The hypernicheum dictates our natural smile line shape, which you'll know about if you've been studying pink and white extensions. Now if I show you the hypernicheum on my index finger, you'll notice I have an extended hypernicheum. It goes from almost halfway down my nail all the way up to the free edge and down again. This means when placing nail forms, they can often pinch my sensitive skin there and need customising to relieve the pressure at the tip of my finger. You'll need to be wary of high hypernicheums on your client's fingers for this reason. Number three, the nail plate, which is essentially the entire body of the nail that we can see. It's the entire nail area covering the flesh of the nail bed. Number four, the nail bed, the fleshy area of the finger upon which the nail plate grows. Number five, nail grooves. If I gently pull the skin down at the top side of my finger, you'll see a very slight indentation or groove. It may in fact be easier to look at this on your own nail right now. This groove guides and aligns the nail as it grows out. Number six, nail walls. This is the edge area of your nail where the skin either side of your finger protects the nail. Number seven, lanula. This is the white moon shaped area at the base of the nail plate. This is the visible area of your nail's root and for this reason it's soft and requires delicate care. In fact some people lanulas can feel really quite spongy. Often clients will ask you what it means if they do or don't have visible lanulas. It simply indicates how high or low your nail's matrix sits, which we'll talk about next, uh, and it would be more indicative of a health problem if their shape or colour has recently changed. Number eight, the matrix. The matrix lies at the very base of your nail beneath your finger's skin. It is living tissue which produces new nail cells and controls the new growth of the nail. This is the new nail factory. Damage to the matrix, often by jamming the finger in a drawer or a door, an accidental hammer thump, can create deformed growth and sometimes no new growth at all. Number nine, the mantle, which is simply the area of skin above that protects the matrix. Number 10, the epinicheum. Like the hypernicheum at the front of the nail, the epinicheum is living tissue that protects the base of the nail. This is the skin that we gently push back during a nail service to provide more nail estate to paint or extend onto. Many people and clients still believe this piece of skin to be the cuticle, but I will repeat, it is living tissue that should almost never be cut or trimmed. By trimming this away, you're removing its safety barrier and opening the finger up to potential infection. Number 11, the real cuticle. Cuticle is actually dead tissue that is shed from under the epinicheum and clings to the oils on the nail plate. Polish and enhancement products will lift if applied over this tissue, but because it's dead, this can simply be removed by your chosen method of cuticle work to allow for better adhesion of product. And here's that same nail, epinicheum, gently pushed back to create more room for a neat and tight polishing and true cuticle removed, ready for any nail service. Click the subscribe button for more content and I'll see you next video.